leave it to my friend Paul Michael to figure out how to cut a cast iron urn in half. You watched us design and build this house in 150 days, but the work is far from over. We're about to jump into my favorite part of the process of bringing all this together. Join me for an exclusive look right here on eHow Home. You may ask why someone would want to cut a perfectly good cast iron urn in half. This is a reproduction. Paul is a master of um, coming up with great ideas using fragments. And um, he actually was inspired by some espalier fruit trees that we have at the farm. And I couldn't bear to throw them away and hung them on the wall. Here he had some branches made of wire and he wanted to associate them with an urn and use it in some way as a wall hanging like I had with the espalier tree. So he cleverly cut the urn in half as a container for this wire form of leaves to come out. He put a back of oak behind it. We're trying to work out the proportions of exactly where the urn fits within the composition and then how do we anchor the urn to the piece so it doesn't look like it's floating. You know, I wonder if this got moved up to here and then there was another block that sort of gave it just a little bit of weight at the base, almost like this is resting huh. on it, would be fantastic. That's all right. Yeah. Well, well, what would the block be though? Would it, I've got some, some wonderful uh, masonry, maybe a brick or an odd sized piece of masonry? Or? I, would, I think I would just use another piece of wood, almost like it's a little, uh, I can draw a picture of it, but just where it scroll, a piece of wood that then would be the same oak. Uh -huh. But it just scrolls back in and meets this, so it scrolls up and it looks like it's sitting on a plinth. At this point I'm not sure if it would work in the cottage and if it did where it would go. I sure like the form, I'm very attracted to it. And I'm also not sure about the color because there's some things you could do with color that would transform it completely. But hey, if you want to know whether it makes it or not and how we use it, check in with us regularly. And make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.